we've been on presenter view though, and this is, oh, perfect, it worked. Yay, all right, go for it. Okay, uh, so you know the text overflow of Ipsys property, right? Uh, it lets you uh, clip, uh, clip text in the, uh, that overflows in the inline direction and shows uh, an Ipsys uh, that to indicate that it's clipped, right? And since for, uh, for a long time, web developers have wanted something similar, but for uh, text overflow in the blog direction. And uh, in 2009, uh, WebKit implemented the WebKit line clamp property. It takes a number of lines, not a height, but we'll come back to that. Uh, so, but by itself, by itself, the property does nothing. You need these other two properties, which are uh, all versions of Flex uh, self. And uh, it, what it does is uh, it uh, sets the intrinsic height of the box to fit the three lines and adds an ellipsis on the third line, but the rest of the text still overflows. So you need overflow hidden to hide them. Uh, my name is Andre Botella. I work at Igalia, and I'm uh, I'm helping uh, like, uh, uh, an improved version of Line Clamp without these problems uh, get specified and implemented in Blink. This work is sponsored by Bloomberg, who uh, cares, uh, who is a heavy user of Web Line Clamp, and cares about improving it in the web platform in general and in Chrome in particular. So uh, currently, there is a version of Line Clamp in the specs. You can check out the, the link for the specs. Uh, it fixes the overflow hidden problem, uh, and it's based on fragmentation. Fragmentation is the way you take web content and uh, print it, like fragment it into pages for printing, for example. And actually, uh, Line Clamp is a shorthand property. Uh, so continue to discard makes the box into a fragmentation context. Uh, and hides the anything but the uh, after the first page. Max lines three uh, cuts like inserts a fourth page break after the third line. And block ellipses auto adds uh, an ellipsis uh, on every page but the last, like at the end of every page but the last, uh, more or less. And uh, with this, you can actually achieve a height baseline clamp if you set a height and remove the max lines. Uh, the fragmentation works fine. And so let's ship this, right? Uh, so with layout NG, you don't actually need to uh, lay out pages uh, after uh, that will be discarded. You don't need to, to do the, the layout for that. And, but interacting, interacting with legacy, you, uh, you still need the full layout for uh, reasons. And uh, in one eye, nothing uses legacy anymore. And we're we're working on this. You can check out those links. But it, like implementing this will still take months, and other browsers are far behind on fragmentation, and uh, they won't be shipping this in a reasonable amount of time. So in uh, in TPAC two months ago, uh, Emilio from Mozilla uh, had an alternative proposal that uh, just doesn't paint anything after the clamp lines, and uh, uh, it treats everything as if they didn't take up space. Uh, you can still support high base clamping, but I won't get on it. This is a hack, okay? But it's much easier to implement across browsers. It could take like two weeks to implement in Chrome, and it has uh, nicer properties for scripting. So uh, there are a number of open issues, which you can see at this link, uh, that have to be resolved because before this can be spec'd. But once it's done, uh, yeah, it might take two two weeks to implement in Blink and not uh, have, uh, like, it would be similar to the fragmentation-based version. But if we go back to fragmentation for a second, like, uh, the line clamp short, uh, long hands, uh, seem like a first step to allow things like broken flows of text, like continued on, on page two. So uh, how about we, rather than remove it, we use continue, continue discard for fragmentation, uh, as soon as it's available, when it's shipped, continue collapse. You would use this new model, and uh, you can opt into fragmentation with con line clamp three continue discard. Right? Um, thank you very much. All right, coming up next will be Addy.